Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of composing and decomposing numbers. That is standard 3.2a in the great state of Texas and we'll be using item number 13 off of the 2016 star test. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, solve the problem on your own, and then unpause it and we'll look at our answers together. So this looks like a fairly simple problem. Which expression represents 867? This word expression you might not have seen before. It's like an equation, it just doesn't have an equal sign. So really what we're looking at down here is expanded form. And we have seen expanded notation introduced for the first time in third grade. And it's similar, but expanded form we've been doing since first grade. So expanded form should be pretty easy. So you're thinking, oh, that's, that's easy. Let's just do 867 in expanded form, which would make sense. So what you do for expanded form is remember you take each digit. So let's start with the largest digit first, 8, and you write its value. And 8 in the hundreds is worth 800. And you're going to add it to a 6 in the tens. That's 60. And then you're going to add a 7 in the 1s. So 800 plus 60 plus 7, it would be easy, except that answer is not there. So we're going to have to do something else. Let's see if we can do this. Let's just take each of these numbers, and let's just, uh, let's just go ahead and add these expressions here. So 880 plus 60 plus 70. So I'm going to write A right here. And let's just see if we can just do a little vertical addition. There's a shortcut on how we can do that, but let's just do the long way. Sometimes if you're stuck, will it work if you just do it the long way? Sure, it's an addition equation. So let's just go ahead and add it. 8 and 6 is 14. 14 and 7 is 21. 210 does not make 867. And take a look. Each of these have a, a zero behind there. 80, 60, 70, but that's nothing like our expanded form. The 8, 6, and 7 are correct, but the zeros are off. So let's look at B. Obviously, we've got to make sure we are lining these up perfectly. We've got a 6 and we've got a 7. I know that's not going to work. If that 6 was a 60, it'd be all right. But it's not, and so we've got 813 rather than 867. So that's not going to work. Now, C has got something a little bit strange. It's got a 500 plus a 300 plus a 50. I wonder where they're getting all this from. And a 10 and a 7. So let's work that out. I'm going to draw some lines. Sometimes it's good just my columns weren't as even as I wanted them to be. So let's just make sure we get that. That's a 7. 5 and 1 is 6. 5 and 3 is 8. Look at that. That's 867. So that's going to be my answer. But just to double check, let's go ahead and, and see what did we do for D. And I'm kind of running out of room, so I'm going to make my D right here. So it looks kind of like we're starting the same way. We've got the 500, we've got the 300, and we've got the 60, and we've got the 70. That 60 works, but I'm pretty sure that 70 is going to throw us off. That should be a 7. So that's going to be a 0. It's going to be a hmm, 6 and 7 is 13, so let's put a 3 there. Carry that 1. So 5 and 3 is 8. Add 1 is 9. 930. So that is wrong. C is my correct answer. But how in the world did they get 500 plus 300 plus 50 plus 10 plus 7? Let me tell you how. Let's start with this right here. 500 plus 300. Even though the simplest way to do expanded form is 800 plus 60 plus 7, what you could do if you really wanted to is you can break this down. 5 and 3 make 8, right? And so 500 plus 300 is going to make 800. Using that, I bet you see how we're going to get this 50 and 10. Think of the 6, the value of a 6. 6 is 5 and 1. It's always good to know how to make numbers with a 5 or with a 10. So that's going to be a 50 plus 10. So that's where they got that. And then the plus 7, they didn't do anything with. If they wanted to, they could have done a 5 and 2, but they didn't. And that's how we get our answer.